हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल स्टेनो फाइटर अगर आप चाहते हैं कि मेरी वीडियोस आपके पास सबसे पहले पहुंचे तो मेरे चैनल स्टेनो फाइटर को अभी सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल के आइकन को दबाना ना भूलें क्योंकि यह बिल्कुल फ्री है तो दोस्तों अब मैं डिक्टेशन प्रोवाइड कर रहा हूँ नाइन्टी वर्ड पॉमिनट कैलाश चंद्रा ट्रांसक्रिप्सन नंबर फोर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट देन सर देर इज एनदर प्रॉब्लम विच इज विथ रेफरेंस टू द कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटीज एज फार एज द कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटीज आर कंसर्न आई कैन रियलाइज द एनेक्जिटी ऑफ द ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर दैट इफ कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटीज आर इम्प्लॉइंग लेस देन फिफ्टी पीपल एंड इफ दे आर नॉट इम्प्लॉइंग पावर इट इज डिजायरेबल दैट दिस ऑब्लिगेशन शुड नॉट बी इम्पोज ऑन दिज कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटीज इन व्यू ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट इट इज आवर इंटेंशन टू इनकरेज कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटीज दिस कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटीज माइट नोट हैव द नेसेसरी वेयर विद ऑल और द रिसोर्सेस एंड देयर फोर मे नोट बी इन ए पोजिशन टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू द प्रोविडेंट फंड ऑन द अदर हैंड देर इज एन अदर अस्पेक्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विच इट इज ऑल्सो नेसेसरी टू टेक इन टू कंसिडरेशन इन दिस behalf and it is necessary because this type of protection and many other types of protection are given by way of encouragement to the cooperative societies again there are many unscrupulous people who form some sort of cooperative society which is a cooperative society only in name and which in fact is merely a proprietary concern and then they take advantage of this particular provisions sir we have realized that there were owners and there were employers who were talking advantage of the fact that the number was <coughs> kept at 50 <coughs> it was only when the employees were more than 50 that this particular act was applicable so far they were partitioning their establishment into various departments and into various units and thereby they were trying to escape from the provisions of this act fortunately the government has now made it clear in this bill that no such partitioning will be useful to the employer because even if there is partitioning now they will all be considered as one consolidated establishment and if there were more than 20 people employed then this particular law will be applicable to them some such trick is likely to be resorted to by the employer by calling his concern a cooperative society and thereby trying to escape the extension of the benefits that are being provided for the employees in this particular bill now sir there are cooperative societies acts and there are cooperative constitutions where it is made compulsory that after a particular employee has worked for a certain number of years 
इन ए गिवेन इस्टेब्लिशमेंट विच इज ए कोऑपरेटिव इस्टेब्लिशमेंट दैट इम्प्लॉय ऑटोमेटिकली बिकम्स ए मेंबर ऑफ द कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटी देर इज ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ कोऑपरेटिव कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ दिस टाइप where the right of membership in the cooperative society is granted to the employees who are working for a particular number of years in that particular society i can understand that if this particular bill exempts such societies which permit their own employees to become members of those cooperative societies it would be quite fair because in that case these employees themselves will become members and therefore they will have a dual role of employers being members of the cooperative society and also of employees if however a particular constitution does not provide for such compulsory registration of its employees who have worked for a particular member of years in that concern as members then that kind of relationship is as between an employer and an employee and only in exceptional cases should the government come forward to exempt such cooperative societies from the provisions of this act this kind of blanket exemption which is provided in this particular bill might perhaps be misused through a quite appreciate the anxiety of the government to see that the cooperative societies are allowed as free a scope and development as possible in view of the national policy that the cooperative sector should be encouraged as far as possible therefore i suggest that as far as this provision of exemption to the cooperative societies is concerned this exemption should be given only to those societies which permit their employees to become members of the cooperative societies and as far as other cooperative societies are concerned it is only on merit that the exemption should be granted and there should not be anything <coughs> like a blanket <coughs> exemption whereby merely because it calls itself a cooperative society merely because of its being a cooperative society it enjoys the exemption which has been provided therein then sir there is the question of what is known as the infancy of an industry here again sir a distinction is made between establishments that employ 50 or more people and the establishments that employ between 20 and 50 people now sir as far as the establishments that employ 50 or more people are concerned the infancy period is defined as 3 years while in the case of establishments that employ between say 20 and 50 people the infancy period is extended up to 5 years here again i do not see any property of this particular type of extension i would like to draw the attention of the honorable minister to the fact that there are a large number of industries that are coming up stop <coughs>